Hello everyone. Here I want to talk about some genetic disorders. First of all, you should know some commonly used terms. Hereditary, familial, congenital, somatic cells, gametes, chromosomes, homologous chromosome, chromatid, and central marinated types. Hereditary means that transmitted from one or both of parents to offspring, so it is familial. For example, in this family tree, the grandparents which will share and transmit their trait by sex cells through the generation. Congenital means defect existing from birth, so they may not be hereditary. For example, some intrauterine infections like torch. As please pay attention, all genetic diseases are not congenital and they may be appear late in life. In general, we have two types of cell, somatic cell or body cell or non-sex cell and sex cell. Somatic cell is any cell of the body except sperm and egg cells. They are diploid, meaning that they contain two sets of chromosomes, one inherited from each parent. Mutation in somatic cells can affect the individual but are not passed on to the offspring. So, in diploid organism, the genome is composed of homologous chromosomes. One of each homologous pair comes from the mother and one comes from the father, called maternal and paternal chromosomes. These chromosomes are similar but not identical. Each carries the same genes in the same order, but the alleles for each trait may not be the same. A haploid cell only has one set of chromosomes, like sex cells, either eggs or sperm. The union of haploid sperm and egg will produce diploid zygote. Karyotype is a picture of chromosomes. Is a way that we can count them, determine the gender, or evaluate an extra or missing chromosome. For karyotyping, the cells are obtained from blood, skin, or bone marrow. The cell division has been arrested, usually in metaphase, when the chromosome is most condensed. And then they sort according to the size of chromosome and the position of centromere. We have two copies of each somatic chromosome except sex chromosomes. Now let's see what is chromatid and centromere, the two main structures that we can see them in mitotic metaphase. Following replication, when DNA makes a copy of itself, the chromosome consists of two identical structures called sister chromatids, which are joined at the centromere and transferred to each of the two daughter cells during mitosis. Here again, you can see homologous chromosome. Each pair comes from the mother and one from the father, carries the same genes in the same order, but they have different alleles for each trait. When we have one set of chromosomes, the cell is haploid, like sex cells. In somatic cells, we have two sets of chromosomes, so they will be diploid. When one and two extra sets of chromosomes is present, we call them triploid and tetraploid, which are lethal conditions. The centromere is like a little ball in the middle of chromosome and separated into the P and Q arm. It is important during cell division and helps the chromosome don't lose their sister chromatid during the cell division. It is not always right in the middle of chromosome. When the centromere is loco located exactly at the center of chromosome, we call it metacentric. Submetacentric means that the centromere is located on one side of the center point, so we will have one longer and one shorter arm. In acrocentric, the centromere is located close to one side, giving a very short and very long arms. Telocentric is a chromosome that the centromere is located at one end, so this chromosome has only one arm.